Most people experience trauma or go through highly stressful events in their life at some point. It's normal to experience tough times. And even sometimes it's hard to get through the day. The thing is, when something comes out of the blue and sideswipes us unexpectedly, that's when it feels out of control and we feel like we're totally overwhelmed. And then added to that, people get critical about the way that you're dealing or coping with the event. They might reject what you're saying or doing. They might say no. They might even disagree with you. You can't control what they say or what they do. You can't control how they react or how they respond. The truth is, you can't control what they're thinking and doing. But if you just stop worrying about their reaction and take back your power, you might just be out of control a little bit more than you think. Schools, workplaces, and even families implore us not to show our emotion. We're taught to suck it up and get on with it. You see, we're not taught to handle rejections and failures. We're taught to just get on with it and accept mediocrity and fit in. We're not taught how to share our emotions and our feelings. We're taught to hide them and keep them down, as if, for some reason, sharing emotions could be weak or bad. We're not taught how to listen to our bodies, how to be in the moment and slow down. We're taught that if you want to be a high achiever, you have to work harder than everybody else, you have to be more competitive, you have to do more, and you have to burn the candle at both ends. And usually that is to the detriment of our own health. And as Carl Honoré, the author of The Slow Fix and the godfather of The Slow Movement says, the fastest way to a better life is to slow down. See, let me tell you this, you are way stronger than you think. Two years ago, when I was diagnosed with cancer, I now realize just how strong I am. It floored me. It, it sideswiped me. It came from absolutely nowhere. It was harsh, it was brutal, and it was scary. But when I stepped up and I faced the pain, the fear, and the shock head on, I realized I was way stronger than I thought. I found meaning in this time and I shared my feelings with my closest support crew. I was vulnerable and I learned the lessons. And I totally wholeheartedly believed that I would get through this time. And I did. I learned to grow with renewed strength and I know that you can too. So the next time you're in a stressful event, event or something overwhelms you, remember you are way stronger than you think.